welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about pruning deciduous ornamental grasses. Now you need to know these are ornamental grasses and you need to know whether they are deciduous or evergreen. If they are evergreen you leave them. So for example this steep attenuissima is semi evergreen and you just pull out the dead which I will show you later. Don't cut it back. But this one is called Panicum virgatum, and it dies right back in the winter. You leave it to stand over winter because the top growth protects the crown from the wet and cold, and the seed heads are quite pretty, and maybe the birds eat them. Now is the right time to prune the grasses. It's February, and you want to do it before the new growth emerges. If the group new growth has come, that's fine. You just cut it back to the new growth. Don't cut the new growth. So you basically take it in your hand, have a good pair of sharp secateurs and cut it to the base, right down to the crown. Remove all the dead and that's finished. That's done and it'll grow again this season. This is steep attenuissima or ponytails and it's one of my favourite grasses. It's very soft and very tactile. Um, at this time of year you need to tidy it up because there's quite a lot of dead. Some people cut it right back but because there's a lot of green in there I don't because I like to preserve the green. So you take out the dead and you just pull it with your hands and the dead will come out. So this is a lovely job to do. I find it quite therapeutic. You just go through it like it's hair, because it is called ponytails, that's its common name. And you just pull out the dead grass and um, clean it up, tidy it up. It'll look much nicer because it looks a bit messy this time of year. Just get in there like it's hair and pull out all the dead and the dead will come out. You might get a few little live bits, but don't worry about it because you could cut this right back and it would grow. I think that's pretty much done. There might be a few bits. Just depends how much time you've got. Basically, you can still, you can now see that there's more green and less brown. And I think that's fairly nearly done. I'm now in my client's front garden in North London and I'm going to show you how to prune another deciduous ornamental grass. This is called Calamagrostis cross acuta flora Carl Furster, Forster, Furster, whatever. Anyway, quite a mouthful. And it's deciduous, so it dies back in the winter. And uh, I love this grass. It's not looking great at the moment because at this time of year they look their tattiest, but it's very vertical, it's very architectural, it's kind of slender, so it's not a fountain. It grows very upright, and I'm going to show you how to prune it. Cut this grass to the base, so near the ground. You will see there's some green growth already starting, so just be a little bit careful of that not the end of the world if you cut it but get in there with your secateurs and just cut though in this instance because the growth is already started the new growth you can see there's some green leaves that's the new growth you can cut it a few inches from the ground so just take it in your hands it doesn't matter if you cut a bit of the green you can also pull it if you like but actually I wouldn't do that because you'll yank out the grass and just cut it a few inches from the ground. Pull out the dead grass as well as cutting it. Sometimes it's easier just to pull with your hands because it comes away. The dead will come away easily and then you avoid cutting so much of the green. As I say, the green has already started. There's another one here. I actually planted three in a clump, rather close together, uh, but I wanted to have a nice fat clump and I wanted instant impact 
This one, I'm just gonna cut like this because there's not much green growth happening. And I'm also gonna pull and I'm also gonna cut. And I think that's almost there. You can just tidy it up and that's done. This is Miscanthus sinensis, Kleinus silverspinner, and it's a compact variety of Miscanthus. Miscanthus is normally a big grass, but I wanted a smaller grass here because it was in scale with the planting scheme. I didn't want something really tall to get in the way of the window. And um, it's a really pretty variegated grass. Just cut it to the base. You will see some green growth already emerging, but to be honest, don't worry about it too much. I did this last year. I just cut the whole thing back. I was a bit nervous because it appeared to be semi evergreen, which could be to do with global warming, but just cut it back, maybe a couple of inches, just to save a bit of the greenery, a couple of inches from the base. You can see the green growth, but to be honest, I cut the green growth last year and it came back maybe a little bit slower than usual, but it was very hard to tell what was dead and alive. You can see the green growth there and that's done. You can run your hands through it because that's always a good way of ensuring all the dead is removed. You can see the new growth. It'll look a little bit tatty, but it's fine. Uh, it's basically done. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Please like it, please subscribe and keep up to date with my latest content. Thank you very much.